Mua MP cites Sadiq will only support Putrajar's age-based smoking ban bill if he is satisfied with the explanations given to Parliament. Speaking to Code Blue, Said Sadiq said he had three concerns. Firstly, he said small retailers and businesses would be impacted by such a ban. According to Said Sadiq, small retailers such as Saudi shops have told him that tobacco sales can make up to 25% of profits. Secondly, Said Sadiq argued that Kari's bill will inadvertently encourage calls for more bans based on religious or moral grounds. He said the bill, if passed, will create an unnecessary precedent that may open the doors for racially motivated attempts to ban other products. In contrast, he said when the Pakatan Harapan administration banned smoking at eateries, it was specifically to address the harm caused by secondhand smoke. Said Sadiq's third and final concern was that Kari's bill, when implemented, could drive black market cigarettes further. Dubbed a generational endgame, Kari's bill aims at reducing the burden on the public health system. This is because the cost of treating smoking-related diseases far exceeds the revenue the government generates from tobacco products. The bill seeks to introduce a cohort smoking ban. Those born after 2005 will not be allowed to buy or consume tobacco products.